Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to share with you some challenges that I had before and uh, I got the result, uh, pretty good result. And uh, I'm going to export the very clean mesh from Voxel software into 3D Blender. But before I start exporting and I show you how I'm going to export and use these formats, uh, I will show you roughly the result in 3D Blender. So let's talk about, for example, OBJ that we have the first option. As you see, it's not a clean mesh at all and it's not suitable for animation. For a static, maybe there is, but for animation, no. Another uh, downside of OBJ is uh, facing, as you see. 6K, around 6K uh, facing that we have poly count over here. But if we use Voxel, another format from export, from which is this this format need add-on from Blender, which I will show you furthermore, a little bit furthermore. And then the downside of this one, which is a lot of cube, and uh, even unnecessary if you see that it has a lot of faces and also it's not uh, it's collecting or bringing a lot of uh, unnecessary uh, cubes which is inside that uh, model okay so let me undo this one okay but it will give you exact same things which is whatever you see in uh, voxel software Another one is PLY, which I prefer this one, which it will give you very clean mesh, as you see uh, over here, over here, and you can bring it in two ways, uh, import it from, uh, to, the, to the blender, which is one of them is, it has QB style, like each of them, uh, even inside you will see it has cubes which is a little bit uh, more faces it bring but it depends to your animation and then another one uh, another one of PLY is only surface of that polygon which is you see it's totally clean and it has very minimum faces okay so we will focus on these two and then but roughly i will tell you how to do uh, export voxel and obj but the thing is if i want to compare this two PLY together for example qb this one which i will show you a little bit further if i select all you will see it has only thousand uh, faces and then if you select this one select all you will see 730 faces and then uh, let's one more time checking over here uh, if I select all for voxel you will see uh, sorry yeah like 3k uh, sorry 2.2.3k faces and then how about this one this one you see thousand something all right so how are we going to export it from Voxel? Let's just start with OBJ. OBJ is so easy. It's just uh, uh, over here at the bottom on the, on the right. You will see OBJ, PLY, and Vox as a format. Okay, let's start with OBJ. And then just leave it as a default name. Save, going back over here. I'm just doing pretty fast this one and then obj file this obj I'll leave it as a default and it has material so I just uh, okay yeah this one obj as you see exact same things as whatever you see on the left side all right so let me undo this one Let's push these things to the back, which is we have some room to bring it 
background. All right. So about uh, Vox, which is Voxel, and over here, uh, if you go to this GitHub website and then search it for Voxel, Magic Voxel uh, importer, after you download this add-on, going back to uh, Blender, Edit, Preferences, and then Install, bring that package that I already did, for example, over here, and then Install Add-on, and then make sure it's on, and then refresh, and then close it. So, let's save it uh, as a box, whatever we have over here. Uh, let me explain to you a little bit further. Okay, uh, Vox, and then save it, and then go into Blender, and File, Import. You will see it's Add over here, that add-on, Add to the Import. So select that one, select your Vox uh, format, leave it as a default, Import. When you import, it's quite big, which I, I should manipulate the scale, but anyways, it's exactly like whatever we have, which I don't want to play with scale and size, but anyways, it's the same exactly that whatever you see over here. As you see, if I get some of this cube, which is not attached to each other, and then it has a lot of unnecessary cube at the middle of this model. So, yeah, this is another type of import. We delete these things. Okay, let's come back to PLY. So, for the PLY, it's up to you if you want to bring it like this as a, as a cube. It depends to, to your character or project. And... Uh, like this, or you want to bring it like this. And then another challenges, uh, oops, sorry, uh, like this, it's very clean and it doesn't have any extra faces inside the model. So another challenges that PLY has is the color. When we import, you will see just a minute, in a minute, and uh, when we import this one, it doesn't bring automatically the color. So what we can do with this stuff? All right, let's import it. Let's go to um, Voxel. And then it has two buttons over here. Let me show you something. If I erase some cubes over here, you will see inside this, it's fill up with other cubes. So this is one way that we bringing our model another way if you open this modifier under edit tab there's two button over here which is hue and flood so which is explaining over here the description of this bottle what they doing and then this one said remove all invisible walks that means if I click this whatever is not visible inside inside the model it will be uh, removed. So as you see, it's removed already. All right. So I want to import exact same things from here to 3D Blender. All right. Plus colors. Okay. So we have we healed already, and then go to PLY export. Let's call this one uh, number one. Okay. Save. And then when I import this one, PLY over here, and then this one, and it doesn't have any setting over here. All right, so leave it as a default and import. As you see that some guys over here in the tutorial, which I watch already, they have some challenges how we can bring it exact material of this into the 3D model, which is challenging. And then I found a solution for that, which is, uh, it has two problem, which we need to consider and solve it. One of them is, all of them, all the faces, detach from each other. As you see over here, 
But the advantage is this one compared to OBJ is very clean and also it's deleted all the unnecessary faces inside. Okay, I will show you a little bit further more. Which what we can do over here. Uh, let me roughly take these blocks. Okay, I will uh, press H to hidden this one and then to having beneath faces and then Alt H bring it back and then uh, and then join each other like M on the keyboard which is joining all the vertices together and then click by distance so you see this one connected already if I select L on top of one of this area you will see it will select so like this this is exact same things that I can see in Voxel software but uh, these are still con un uh, detached from each other so I will bring it back that one and then control I okay and then M on the keyboard and then by distance so all this one is connected uh, sorry J connected to each other as well anyways okay so how can the second one the second challenge is actually we we trying to connect these two together so I just click all and then uh, select all and then uh, by distance so those are connected to each other as well so all the faces connected okay so the second challenge is which is the color how we can bring the material all right if you see let me show you something here if you go to the object data you will see under vertex color it has information so how we can get advantage of that go to the material and then click new material and then go to the base color instead of choosing image texture we will come into vertex color and then boom we will get the color whatever color we have it on the on the uh, mesh over here into over here and then another way actually this one this model which I made is close to is exact same as this PLY okay let's have let's make this one which is totally empty inside there's no cube and totally clean and very minimum faces okay for achieving that one we're going to voxel and then as you see let me check one more time yeah it's empty so bring it back and then we float the, the model what does that mean that means inside is full of cubes and then undo and then like this we are gonna export as PLY let me change it to 0 2 okay and then coming back to blender import PLY and then second one and then import so let me check this one go to the edit mode and you will see basis is still detached but as you see it's very clean model mesh and also is inside is totally empty which is uh, with minimum uh, polygon 730 okay what we can do over here the first one we have to attach all the vertices together which is select all press M on the keyboard and then by distance so it's distance uh, is connected all the vertices together okay this one fixed already and then 
uh, go to under material press new and then go to the base color select on this yellow button and then instead of image texture come to vector uh, vertex color and then boom done so like this you will have very clean mesh with uh, minimum faces and you can just import this one into the game engine all right so let me quickly do that okay if i delete these things and uh, okay let me save as this one okay with any names uh, where is it f over here and then click this one and then export for my game engine which is godot i just uh, export as gltf and then name it as gltf and then selected object i just trying to leave it as a default except this one and then bring it from here which is glb but into my project folder okay and then open godot it's already import over here when i double click on that and open anyway you will see my r model over here as well and uh, doesn't need to apply any color automatically apply and so on it's very easy to use all right guys i hope that uh, you enjoyed this video so if you have any uh, issue or uh, any question i will be happy to hear that in the comment and uh, thank you so much for watching see you next time